Naples. It is the third largest city in Italy and one of the most unique cities you will ever visit in your lifetime. At first it can seem like a city that forgot to take out the bins. What do you know? Another hole of garbage. This is trash pile number 1053. But if you can look past all the rubbish, I can see how some visitors consider Naples to be their favourite city in Italy. It reminds me of a real life Gotham City, home of Batman. However, Naples is actually the home of pizza and that is exactly the reason why we are here today. Napoli. Oh yeah, thank you. Grazie. <laughs> Grazie. So mine's called Chef. It's got Chef. mushroom, some prosciutto in there and some basil. It's nice and fresh. It's actually huge. Yeah, massive. I don't know what mine is called, but it's a long pizza. Look it's at that. It's something. Yeah, and it's got some vegetables, sausages, cheese, tomatoes. It just spans across. Yeah. All right, go for it. Oh, I've got to cut it up first. Yeah, they don't cut it up for you here. No. you got to cut it up yourself. I noticed that. Right, this is going to be a bit biased because I'm starving. I haven't eaten anything yet. Creamy, nice and salty, not too salty. The crust is super thin. Mm. It's not the best pizza I've had in Italy, but it still does the job. The job, especially while I'm hungry. <laughs> Try that crust. Mm. Once you get to the crust, that's even better. Because I think because it's so thin, it's kind of just like very soggy. And then once you get to the crust, I do like to taste like crunchy crust. So I think that's worth it for sure. Mm. Here we go, my first pizza in Naples and I think this is like the tri flavoured pizza like you got one end here is different, different here and different there so it's perfect, I like to try it all out so it's blazing hot, I'm just going to go in this one's a tomato cheese one mm. yeah right, it's so thin it sogs into the pizza mm. it gets very tomato so I think the tomatoes are really fresh. Yeah. I'm gonna have to fold this up. That's yum. Got cheese, it's like chalky but very flavorsome. Got ricotta. That one's good. These pizzas are like really like a soup on a pastry because mm. everything just sloshes together <laughs> into one one giant flavor flavor pie. Mm. That's really good. The flavor is really good. The structural integrity of this is not very good. <laughs> so I'm got the sausage and maybe spinach and cheese. Wow. That's interesting. In a good way. I think that's like, um, usually we have baby spinach. That's like grown spinach. Mm. Next to the sausage and cheese. Really unique flavor. I like it. This is a more popular side of town and it looks a bit more cleaner. There's a lot happening, lots of little stalls, people ordering food, souvenirs, heaps of tourists here. We just got an apple spritz for takeaway for $2.50 euro which is pretty cheap. Oh it's yum! It's good? Spilt it everywhere. It's dinner time in 
Naples and we're at a specialised, just only pizza store called Regina Victoria Pizzeria. I had to look at the menu because I'm so bad at remembering the names and pronouncing <laughs> them. But I'm um, really excited to try these pizzas. We ordered three. One margarita classic, how can you not? And you can really tell by the quality of the margarita how the restaurant looks at its pizzas. And I've ordered the Ramona, which is pretty much a margarita with anchovies because that's my favorite. And just a recommendation from the chef, which has a load of ingredients. I can't wait to show you guys and explain if it's better than anywhere else in Italy. So yeah, let's start dinner service. So the restaurant is really old style looking. It just looks like a pizzeria that you'd see in a movie. It's actually located in right downtown Naples where all the locals live. And uh, yeah, it's really grungy as well. You, there's no fancy items around here. It's just plain about the pizza. You can see a lot of memorabilia around here as well. A lot of photos of maybe people who've supported the store or built the store. There's some really Italian music playing in the background. Luna Rossa. Un minuto la nena. Wow. That's Romana. Yeah. Luna Rossa. Oh yeah. So this is a mix yeah. of um the Riviera. Oh. Okay. Oh yeah, perfect. That's it. <laughs> oh, they're hearts. Look at them. Oh, love hearts. And this is the Nerano. So this is one's half margarita, half ripieno. Dove siete, signore? Look at that. <laughs> the chef. The chef That's is here. <laughs> And the chef is really friendly. He's given me a love heart pizza. He's so. broken hearted. Only because I have to eat it and destroy his lovely work. <laughs> but I'm going to cement it into my taste buds. Mm. Oh, look at the cheese. Oh, it's like hot fresh. So this is the recommended one. Mmm, that is so good. That cheese, wow, super cheesy. You can taste that oil that I have infused in there. Yeah, gotta get that basil in there. Mm. That is a beautiful cheese. Yeah. Such a creamy texture. Mm. Something about basil in Italy. This is already better than the previous one because it's not completely soaked through the crust, which I like. A little bit easier to handle, but look at that. So this was the chef's or well, the worker's recommendation. It's got heaps of cheese and zucchini on there as well. Let's try it. Mm. Mm. That's a unique flavour. Mm. Very lemony as well. I like that cheese. Mm. I love a good cheesy pizza. Better go on for a bigger bite. Mm. That crust is nice and thin, but it hasn't soaked through, so I can just hold it. It's quite a unique flavour. There's like slight showering on the zucchini where it's been baked, but that's really nice. It's quite a nice opener. This is the Romana. I ordered this because anchovies is my favorite topping. So you can already see the base. It's a thin one, but it's not soaking through like the last one. Mm. Oh. That tomato flavor. Always spectacular in Italy, but the saltiness of that anchovy. Oh, yeah. That's beautiful. So, these bases, they're not as crunchy, it's very chewy, it's almost like a cheesy texture. But absolutely delicious pizza. Alright, I'm just cutting this in half. So, this one's called the Luna Rossa, and it's actually really good because it's two, it's half 
margarita, which I'm cutting into now, and half uh, ripiera, ripiera, which is this essentially this thing. So it's more like a calzone, but I'm gonna go in for that margarita first. It's essentially the same as Lang's Romana, but just without the anchovies because I'm not a huge fish, fishy gal. Got to get some of that cheese on there. Oh. Leave that basil over here. Oh, oh, I can already taste the tomato. <laughs> absolutely amazing margarita pretty much what you'd expect from the birthplace of margarita pizzas mm. it's time for me to try the classic margarita oh, just as good as this but the tomatoes here bit differently um, it's so simple yet yeah, the flavors are intense especially when you hit the tomato and that basil together Ooh. You can see the meats there. Oh, oh. That's a perfect bite. I'm going in. Mm. It's literally just that meat and the ricotta cheese. That ricotta cheese is. Consistency of like scrambled eggs, like that real nice crumbly, creamy scrambled eggs vibe, but super sweet. Plus with the saltiness of the meat in there, mm, that's a good compliment to the margarita. Yum. Look at that cheese. Wow. I think that's ricotta. I'm going to attempt a one biter here. smoky flavor. I think it had a bit of um, ham in there. Wow. Delicious. We just finished the dinner and I had to not eat the crust because three pizzas is massive and they give you massive pizzas here. Thick crust, you know, just it's hard to eat three pizzas let's be honest. But um, incredible pizzas. Is it the best in Italy? Well, so far I think they're just all different. You might think this is the best if you like these, you know, really big crusts that are kind of chewy and really simple ingredients on the pizzas, but what they do is they do it so well with the, uh, fresh ingredients, you're gonna love it. So you're not gonna be disappointed either way, but I think it's all personal preference when it comes down to whether which uh, place in Italy you think has the best pizza. So I reckon it has great pizza, not the best. Hi. Put it back in. Should do. What's
like a, an art. Yeah. <laughs>